You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and uh, we got lucky when LPS Jim found this game called Penny Pinchers. It's a shopper game, ages 5 to 10. Kind of neat that it is penny-based, and we're Lucky Penny Shop. Uh, it says, shoot your pennies fast and straight. Shoot them through the other gate. Uh, from 1972, shopper. Let me flip it around here. Looks like Mom and the kids are having a blast. Still sealed in the original plastic. Let's go over some of the rules here. Object of the game, to be the first player to get all their pennies on their opponent's sidewalk. And if you notice right now, these pennies are blue. And these are a nice copper color. Mm, they lure you in with these nice copper looking pennies. But then they show you the blue ones on the back. We'll see what they are. Assemble frames at center by interlock tabs. Insert gate into center slot and slide game board into frame bottom. Slot and end. Place the game board in the middle of the playing area. Divide the pennies among the players and line them along the inside rim at each edge, each end of the game board. Okay? How to play. Both players start playing at the same time by snapping their pennies with their fingers under the bridge. Okay, I see a bridge right here. Uh, through the gate, which would be right here. And onto his opponent's sidewalk. So this looks like the sidewalk area. Play continues. Uh, and the first player to snap off, snap all his pennies through the gate and get the gate closed is the winner Ooh, of the game. If penny leaves board of play, player who shot it, shot it off must retrieve it and place it behind his line. So it does look like something's going on here. Not sure how it's filled up or what that means. This will be interesting. But at this point, I need to stop here because I need to carefully take this plastic off. Uh, so I can get into the game, because it is all original and sealed, and we're going to give it a shot and play it. So, be back in just a second. Alright, plastic is off just the top, and I cut it and folded it carefully so that I can get the game out. Now the game board is actually copper colored, which is neat. So let's hope... Yes, it is. Look at that. Very deceiving how one is the one thing, and then you get the... Nothing actually matches the picture. Which, uh, well... Good for us, because I'm glad now they look like real pennies. In God We Trust, Liberty, 1972. That's cool. That's the year of the game. It says, remove the pennies from the runners and then throw the runners away. This can be done by cutting with a fingernail clipper. Okay. So it looks like even in the box, they've all come off their runners. Isn't that interesting? Just from probably years of moving around. And let's see. Okay, so this looks like this just goes here. And let's, let me just get a let me get a grasp on this here, and then I'll uh, well let me do this. Let me just get a better understanding here how this all goes together, because there are no real instructions. And then I'll check right back in. Okay, here we go. I think I have figured it out. The only thing I'm still working on figuring out is these pieces. Now I haven't taken them off yet, so I'm going to do that on camera because this is the first time the game has ever been played. doesn't say anything about them. They kind of look like little feet. But it did say snap the two pieces together first. So we'll do that right now. And those lock in. It's kind of brittle, so I do want to be careful here. Okay, so that's it. Then slide the board in through the end tab. So we'll just go this way. So it fits under, and you just keep pushing it along. Let me get this centered a little bit better here. And as you cross each section, you just got to make sure that you get it in the right spot. Unders and overs. Let me turn it this way, see if this is easier towards me. It is kind of neat being the first one to actually play a game this old. Okay, so now that's in. So it fits really good in there. Alright, and then now this thing... I thought it's activated by pushing it in and out. And it's different than the one pictured on the box. So the one on the box has this 
almost paddle-like and looks like it's tilted up. This one just fits right in here, this slot here. Well, let me turn it so I can see it better. There we are. We'll put it this way. And then it goes in and out and it kind of blocks the penny. So if a penny's coming, when the game's over, you slide this in because you have all your pennies in their sidewalk area, right? Remember, you're just kind of flicking it across with your finger. So it does take uh, some practice, I'm sure. So how you know which you're for and they're for, not sure just yet. Pretty interesting. Now, this card was with it. And then there's number back, number game number 213, 2C. Hmm, not familiar with that. And all the pennies look to be exactly the same. So how do you know, how do you keep track of your own pennies? That's the question. And then these little feet look like they slide onto something. Maybe they do. Let's see. I'm not sure. There's no real indication as to what this does. I might have to research that just a little bit. I don't see exactly where they would go. They're not even in the picture. Nothing in the picture showing feet. It's flat on the bottom. Nothing on the top showing these little feet. See what I'm saying? It's totally flat. Nothing in this area. So what are they? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. If I do figure it out at some point, we'll have to update this video. Let's just, uh, maybe it's a counter of some kind, you know, where you... Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. They almost look like they want to slide on or be part of something, but I'm not sure. Okay, enough of that. Let me just shoot a few across so you can kind of see what happens here. It's a really neat game board. Okay, bounced out, no good. You want to make sure you get it to slide through. We get the rest of my pennies. Because their pennies are over there and they're working in their direction to try to get theirs across. I could see it being really confusing as to who, you know, who, uh, whose penny is whose. Well, it's not as easy as you think. One. So let's just say now I get all my pennies into their sidewalk area. I'm assuming it's here and not all the way over there because they're working in that area. You slide this across so now they're blocked from getting any more pennies over. I could see it be pretty uh, pretty intense gameplay, huh? I don't know. Pretty cool. Do you want to take a look at the game board one more time a little bit closer? So it says the Penny Pincher game Little kid's on there, flying a kite, playing jump rope. He's on uh, roller skates. There's a little puppy, and looks like playing marbles down there, and a cat over here. So overall, I think it looks like it's going to be fun. Fun and fast-paced. Almost like the game Fast Track that we did for a hockey game, but this is in a Penny Pincher game board. Anybody have any idea or want to guess what these are for? I'll figure it out probably at some point. I just can't take too much time on the video. I'm going to have to connect the game board. There's openings here. Hmm. Don't know. But that's good enough because now we know how the game is played. Shoot your pennies across on the game Penny Pinchers. How do you like that one? Would you like to play it? Do you like these older games we've shown you? Because we have more. Um... And we just figured we'd go through all the shopper games we have. Because we have a ton more in different uh, different game from different game, game companies from different years. I think we have some going back to the 30s, uh, 40s, and 50s. These are kind of from the 70s. So, you know, leave a comment below if you like this kind of stuff in that description. Uh, I mean, in the comment area. But if you want to see more games, check in the description or search our channel again. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. Okay, I just decided that I'm going to say that these are feet. These four pieces, they do fit over these a little snug. They will come off if you move the game board a lot. So I'm not sure if, you know, why there isn't some on these to give it complete stability. But it will sit now. But even the slightest movement, they do fall off. It looks like that's the only place they would go. 
which kind of makes sense, but the picture doesn't show it even off the tabletop. So that's what I'm going to go with as the feet. And again, thanks for watching. Sorry for that little video inset there, but just wanted to make sure we had all the bases covered. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.